Hi, boys and girls. Uh, welcome to the second PowerPoint presentation of this uh, chapter, Chapter 4, An Epic Journey. This is about paragraph 4.2, titled, How Did Life Develop? These are the keywords you need to study. Uh, on the left, the English keywords, Big Bang, Cambrian Explosion, Extinction and Creation, and on the right, the Dutch translations. Uh, Big Bang means Urknall, Cambrian Explosion means Cambrische Explosie, Extinction is Uitsterven, and Creation is Schepping. The learning objectives for this chapter are that you can describe what the Big Bang Theory is, that you can describe how the first life forms on Earth developed, and that you can describe how reptiles and mammals coexisted after the Permian Extinction. Uh, the Big Bang Theory. Um, this is what scientists think of as the beginning of the universe, a really big bang. And this Big Bang created the universe and the solar system, and eventually the planets were formed. And scientists think that the Big Bang occurred about 14 billion years ago. And um, planet Earth was formed about 4.6 billion years ago. Uh, now, at first, our planet was not like it is today. It was a ball of molten rock and poison. It looked a little bit like this, probably. Now, the moon was quite close still, um, and there were a lot of thunderstorms, a lot of lightning, and uh, it, it was really hot. Um, and about 4.4 billion years ago, water was formed, and then the planet cooled down enough to form oceans. Um, and However, the Earth was not uh, fit to breathe yet. Uh, that came later. And then the first forms, they um, existed. And these life forms were bacteria, and they lived in water. And at a certain moment, um, the first single-celled organisms that were able to perform photosynthesis appeared. That was about 3 billion years ago. And they made uh, oxygen, of course. And then there came a lot of oxygen in the air. And um, at a certain point, there was so much oxygen in the air, uh, in the atmosphere, that other organisms were able to move out of the water and live on the land. And this happened about 2.5 billion years ago. And the first single-celled organisms with a nucleus appeared 2 billion years ago. Now, um, animals, they uh, arose. Um, and that was um, well, about 1 billion years ago. Um, and as you can see here, uh, it was a really long period of time until those first complex life forms arose. Because um, this time scale that you see here, it goes up to 650 million years ago, so not even 1 billion years ago. Uh, and here you can see where we can find the most primitive life forms um, of which we can find fossils today. Now, the first really complex life forms, um, they started uh, to wander the Earth in the Cambrian period. Now, the Cambrian period uh, was a period in which very, very much new life forms um, uh, started to exist, so they came to be, which we call the Cambrian explosion. Now, it looks a little bit like uh, most of the organisms, they uh, lived in the sea. There were a lot of plants, a lot of animals, and um, uh, life flourished on Earth. And in a relatively short period of time, uh, many new species developed. Now, the first plants began to live on land about 40, 430 million years ago. And 50 million years later, the Earth was suitable for the first land animals. 
uh, the most um, uh, well-known period uh, of which we uh, have found um, fossils in that time is the Carboniferous period. Now, there lived a lot of arthropods by then, so a lot of insects and spiders, and they were really, really, really big. Uh, these dragonflies that you see here um, had a wingspan of up to 70 centimeters, so they were quite big. So try to imagine the sound they uh, were making. Um, but then, at a certain moment, the climate changed and um, the earth became really dry. And a lot of life forms, they, uh, they died. And this was a period of what we call mass extinction. And mass extinction means that a lot of species die out. They go extinct. And uh, they will never return on Earth again. Now, because of the fact that so many species died out and the uh, climate changed again, it became wet again and a little bit cooler again, um, the Earth was really suitable for the dinosaurs to be and the dinosaurs they flourished for about 180 million years or so and new species arose other species went extinct um, up to one event which you probably all know um, which is this a giant meteorite struck the earth and um, the dinosaurs most of the dinosaurs they died out now there still there were animals after um, the uh, uh, before this period there were a lot of uh, mammals uh, and dinosaurs too but the dinosaurs were uh, flourishing so the the most life forms on earth were dinosaurs and there were not so many mammals but because of this um, meteorite and the mass extinction that followed uh, the mammals they grew and the first mammals such as this mouse-like animal started to flourish, started to reproduce, and after that, the mammals, they populated the earth. Um, and nowadays, of course, we still find a lot of mammals, including us, uh, on the planet. So basically, this is a short, really short, uh, basic history of life on earth. And it's still developing. Now, there's another way uh, some people look at it, which is called... Um, and creation is the story in which um, God made the earth in six days and on the seventh day he rested. And, um, well, if you read the Bible literally, then uh, God has put all the plants and animals uh, on earth as they are today and that they have never ever changed, which is of course rubbish. So, um, to summarize uh, this uh, presentation, um, the Earth uh, developed, uh, well, the Earth was born, as you could say, about 4.6 billion years ago. Then, in a really, 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 really long period of time, first the bacteria developed, and then uh, some uh, organisms with a nucleus developed, and not so long ago, the first uh, life forms uh, that we still know today, like plants and other animals, they arose on the Earth, which um, is uh, in the Cambrian explosion. Now, there were some periods of mass extinction in which a lot of species died out, which um, cleared the space for other species to arise. So, after the Permian uh, extinction, uh, new uh, dinosaurs and um, uh, mammals they arose no. then the me big meteorite hit the earth and um, the dinosaurs died out and the mammals they flourished and uh, now in the last well-known period of time here the quaternary period uh, humans came to be so actually we have been wandering the earth for a really short period of time now the earth is much older and a lot of life forms have been on the earth um, that have died out and only in the last period of time we, um, we are here. So that's about it.